a pelearse con los del circo. Yo no, yo no me junto con esta gente porque esta gente es muy... Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Ajá, what were you talking about? English. Don't forget to practice your English with your classmates, okay? Hey, welcome. Welcome back. Today is Monday. I need to see you. Okay, Zaira and Stephanie, Sonia, where are you girls? Fernando, where are you? Yeah. Anna? Good evening. Hi, good evening. I need to see you guys. Cameras on all the time, okay? All the time. There you are. Very good job. And Stephanie, Fernando, Roxana, and Nelson, please. How was your weekend, class? How was your weekend? Did you have a great weekend? Fine. Terrific. Relax. A terrific weekend. Oh, I'm really glad to hear that. Very nice. Very nice weekend. Yes. Yes. What did you do? I, I am going to play a game, video uh -huh. game. Ah, you played video with games. With my son. Okay, with your son. Great. Okay, in my case, I want to tell you that in April 20, mm -hmm. I underwent a surgery. Oh, really? So I am recovered. I am. Oh, 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 what yes. is it correct? I'm recovery. Re I'm recovery or I, I am yet in recovery. I'm still, I'm still recovering. I'm still, I'm still recovering. Yes. Okay. Exactly. So you're still recovering. Uh, wow. Almost, mm -hmm. almost a, a month ago. A month ago, right? So yeah. how much time did they give you after your surgery that you need to rest? You need to be resting. For how long? Okay. First, first, a uh, period. Mm -hmm. uh, disability. Yes. 21 uh -huh. years. But One I, year. I, 20, 20, 21 days. Oh, 21 days. And, I heard and, and after, oh, 21 days. Yes. And after I, I, I got, mm -hmm. that's right, I got. Yes. 15 days. Extra days. Extra days, okay. Yes. So I am at home. Teacher, yes. how was your weekend? My weekend? Yes, your great. weekend. It was great, you know, but uh, <sighs> if you ask me about my day today, I haven't had uh, a nice day. You no, know? it was a terrible day. Not because of you, class, but you know, I had so many personal issues and I would really like to share them with you because this is about the topic to express activities in the past. So Walter, he was giving us very nice examples using the simple past. Thank you. In my case, I had a terrible day today, you know. I had a dog, my dog, uh, she passed away today. She was 13 years old, my dog, you know. I have lived with my dog for 13 years already and she passed away today. She died today, my dog, you know. So yes, I feel a little bit uh, sad today because she was my dog, right? I really loved my dog. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, my apologies, miss. Oh, thank you for saying that. You're really kind, you know? So, yes, you know, sometimes uh, we get so involved with pets that we consider them as a part of the family. So, yes, whenever they pass away, yes, of course you feel it. You feel uh, that you really miss them, right? But don't worry, I'm here it's, and it's really nice to see you. Really nice to see you again. My pet is other my son. Yeah, right? We can say mm -hmm. that our pets are part of the family or as a, we always treat them like babies as well. So, yes. you know, it's because we really love them and they love us back as well. So, okay. look. What are we going to practice today? Simple past. 
Did you check the platform? Let me be honest. Did you go check the videos from Yes, videos? I did. You did? Great, you did. So, uh, remember on Friday, we were just introducing this topic, the simple past with regular verbs. And I was telling you about the usage of pronunciation rules, but you need to make sure to understand and then to practice a lot the pronunciation and the spelling of the verbs, pronunciation and spelling. So before we reintroduce the topic, I'm going to check the attendance list, okay? So be ready to say here or present. Here we go. Okay. Let me look for this group. This is the group from nine to 10, right? Let's see. Here we go. Aleli Concepcion. Present teacher. Right. Anna Stephanie. Present. Great. Cesar Alexander. I am here, teacher. Great. Elvis Aníbal. I'm here. Excellent. Fernando Arturo. Present. Gerson Vladimir. Eh, Gladys Elizabeth. Present teacher. Excellent. Iris Elena. Here, Miss. Excellent. Irma Raquel. Present. Great. Jessica Marielos. No. Josué Neftalí. Josué. It's coming. Okay, okay, okay. Kimberly Janet. Present. María Lucila. I'm here. Marina del Carmen. Present. Nelson Rolando. Present. Nurian Karina. Karina? Okay. Pablo Reyes. Rebeca Eunice. Rosemary Beatriz. Okay. Roxana Beatriz. Present. Great. Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Walter Alexander. Here, ma'am. Great. Wilson Alejandro. Jessica Marilu. Present teacher. Great. And Zaira Jamilet. Present. Excellent. So, let's go and check the platform. As I mentioned before, today we are going to practice the use of simple present, no, simple past, I'm sorry, simple past. And we are going to have some examples. Listen, we have three different endings for regular verbs in English, right? So let me show you. this. Here we go. Let me show you my PowerPoint presentation so you can take a look at the different rules in pronunciation that we have. 
Here we go. Let me see where is it? Oh, really? Is she in the class already? Hi, Nurian. Hi, welcome. Mm -hmm. I cannot find it. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Let's go to the platform. Here we go. Platform, here we go. Okay, here's one, I'm here. Ya se me hacía raro, chicos. ¿Cuánto me falta? Wow, I have so many missing today, I said, but now. There you are, don't worry. Yes, I, I know. You know, I was having some troubles the same with my internet connection today at the beginning, but no, I'm already here. Section number four, because okay. one, exactly. So there we have some examples about simple past with regular verbs. There we go. Simple past with, with regular verbs. And this is the video who is giving us some examples, right? So I just want you to take a look at the chart that we have here. We're not going to watch the whole video, not really. We're just going to take a look at this chart. This is the one that I was looking for, right? Let's analyze this one. Take a look at examples. How do we make sentences using the past? It's very similar as the simple present, but what is the difference? We are just going to change the verb in present into the other way, past. If I say I study on Sunday, that is present. But how if I want to express this activity as something that, that passed before days previous, you know, the previous days? I started on Sunday. You watch television. That is the simple present. How do I express the same idea? Using past. I watched television. She stayed. She stayed home. We shop. We shopped for groceries. They exercise, they exercised. So take a look at the last chart, spelling. How do we spell verbs in past? It is quite simple. We need to follow some rules. Simple past with the regular verbs. We are always going to use the verb in its um, how do we call it? In its original form or in the infinitive, right? But we need to add, in this case, ed, like this example, only the letter d or i, e, d. Those are the three examples or the three terminations, the three ending words that we are going to use. E, V, V, I, E, V. Okay, the final sounds for the affirmative. If I want to express ideas in a negative way, like in these examples, I need to use an auxiliary. For the simple present, the auxiliaries that we have is do or does. But how about in the past? What auxiliaries am I going to use? Only one. Look. D. 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 So for the simple present, oh, I have do. And that's for the third person, right? But for the past, I am only going to use one auxiliary. So it's 
easier to express the simple past in negative. Why? Because I only have an auxiliary for all the subjects, right? So let me make it bigger. Let me express this one. I need this to be clear. Let me repeat the same information. Simple present, I have do and thus. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use do with I, you, we, and they, oh, yes, teacher, now I remember. And I am going to use the auxiliary does with the third person, he, he she, mm -hmm. it, she, she, and it, and it, it. Uh-huh, so I need to be careful. Which one am I going to use? Okay, I need to think it twice. But this is for the simple present. How about the simple past? I'm just going to use in this case a single auxiliary didn't for all the subjects. I, you, he, she, it, we, they, I'm going to use didn't. Is it clear? Negative. Is this idea clear? Yes or no? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Great job. So, previous class I was mentioning about the use of regular and irregular verbs. I was looking for a list of verbs, you know, so this process can be easier for you because remember, we need to memorize. There's no other way to learn verbs in past, just by memory. So let me show you my list and I'm going to share the same list so you can practice. Look, regular verbs in English. I was mentioning you that we have different endings. Oh, and they have different pronunciations, right? So you are going to find in this list, the base form and then the ID sound, T sound, and then you are going to find the D sound, three different sounds. Let me repeat again, ID or ED sound, T sound and t, D sound. So I'm going to share this with you right now. So I cannot forget about this. So after, me. yes, tell me. Are you wanna share this chart? Yes, of course. I'm gonna do it just right now. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. But before doing so, you. before doing so, we are going to practice the correct pronunciation, right? Here we go. Look. Here we go. Three different ending sounds. Okay, this is the presentation that I was looking for. E, D sound, T sound, and D sound. Take a look at the examples and the rules that we have. This is not the spelling rules. These are pronunciation rules. That is something different, something apart, okay? Spelling rules and pronunciation rules. So as you can see, take a look at the first group of sounds or the first sounds in the, some examples, right? ED sound, in this case, we are going to use the sound with voiced sounds. What does it mean? 
that you are going to feel the vibration just right here. Vibration. When you pronounce these verbs, you are going to feel the vibration in the throat. Mm -hmm. Voiced. Son los que tienen sonido, vibración. How about for the second group? The T sound. These are verbs that you're not going to feel that vibration sound because these are voiceless sounds. They don't have sound. And the last group, the sound with V. Ah, in this group of verbs, you are going to feel, you're going to produce a vibration sound in your throat so you can feel it so look at the examples number one want it listen want it do you listen to the ed sound at the end want it need want it. it need it mm -hmm. want need. it need it Okay, can you feel the vibration? Wanted. Need it. Do you feel it? Need it. Need it. Need so it. Eat at the end, eat, eat. That's okay. Oh, let's pronounce the second one. T sound. T sound. Sonido de la T. T sound. Help. T sound. <laughs> Helped. Helped. Look. Helped. Mm -hmm. Look. Help. Looked. Excellent. Look. Washed. Washed. No, one more time. Washed. Washed. Watched. 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 Laughed. Laughed. Breathed. Breathe. 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 In the simple present. Si no suena esa T al final, se escucha como el verbo en presente. That's it. That is the difference. Right? So you need to make that sound at the, at the it, end it you know, to be strong. Tell me. Uh, watch it. Uh, it's a poco difícil porque está la T, después hay que pronunciar <laughs> otra consonante. Y después otra consonante. I know, right? I know that what? it can be a little bit challenging. But it's not impossible, you see? Washed. <laughs> Washed. Washed. This Washed. one is a little bit complicated, right? Because we have the verb watched. And then the Washed. T sound. Washed. Washed. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not like that. Washed. No. Washed, washed. Washed. One more time. Washed. Okay, it is, okay, let me give you a hint or a clue. It is like if you pronounce washed and then forget about it. No leamos la ed, sino que leamos una T al final. Washed. Ah, washed. 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 What? What is what? Kissed. 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 Ah, very Kissed. good. Dance. 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 No me digan dance. No, dance. 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 Fix. No, fix. 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 It's just fix. the sound, fix. remember. It's just the sound at the end. El sonido de la T al final. Ah. Now let's go and watch it. Then. Come on, class. I know you can do it. <laughs> D sound. D. 
cold. 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 Cleaned. 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 Overt. Overt. Damaged. 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 Loved. 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 Used. Used. Followed. Followed. Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Amazed. Amazed. Once again, okay? Amazed. Damaste. Exactly. Watch them. Now the sound. Sounds. Don't forget, these are rules for pronunciation. Pronunciation. La regla de la escritura que está incluida ya. It's already there. Ah, termina con ED. Casi toda, ¿verdad? ED, ED sound. Yes. All of them. So these are uh, pronouncing. So, I really want to listen to you. Okay, now is your time to practice. It's not my time to practice, it's yours. So let's see, let's start with Gladys. Gladys, go ahead and pronounce this one. Gladys. Okay, I guess you're having, you're having problems with your microphone, I guess, right? One. Oh, uh, yes, yes, we can. Once, once again, can you try it again? Mm, okay, okay, okay. Cesar, wake up. It's your time to practice. It is sound. <laughs> <laughs> What? Want the same, the same one. Excellent, guys. Once. Yeah. Once again. Need. Mm -hmm. uh, help. No, just this one, the first group. Get this yeah. down. This one. One, one, two, one. No. Once. Uh -huh. Need. Okay. Now, yeah, this yeah. is what I hear. I don't know if you class once. Need. Once. Esto es lo que Net. escuché. How about you? Did you, did you hear that? Oh. <laughs> once. Want. Uh -huh. Once no. again. I know you can do it. Once. Built. Mm. No. Mm, not really. You're <laughs> getting there, but no. Walter, can you try with this one? Want it. Want and need it. Need it. Great. There you go. Okay. Cesar, once again. Want. Wanted. Eh, ¿Cómo es? <laughs> Wanted. <laughs> e, e. Yeah, no, no, no. Eat. ID. Ah, ID. Eat. Like literally, want it, want it, need it. Exactly, that's okay. Want it, no, need it. Right. It's sí, es que little. Estaba, es que estaba tomando lo de la T. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, yes, want you, need it. Need it. Yes. Alright. Es All right. literal el sonido, okay? Sonido, sound. Want it, need it. Need it. All In right. English, we have the slash slashes when we want to express a sound. How do we say a slash in Spanish? ¿Cómo se dice? A slash? Pleca. Plecas, eso, thank you. Eso representa un sonido. Cuando va entre plecas. Slashes, right? Sonido, es literal el sonido. Okay? Is, is want you? Needed. Want it needed, yes, exactly. Jessica, right. go ahead and practice with this one. Yes, Jessica. Want. 
where is Jessica? Jessica, I want to listen to your pronunciation, please. There are two Jessicas. Cuál Jessica? Marilu, Marilu, Marilu. Sorry. Yes, I always forget about this one. Thank you for so much for okay. reminding me. Yes. Okay. Sería helped, looked, watched, watched, okay. launched, proud, <laughs> kissed, danced, fixed. There you go. Only this one, okay, class. La. Okay. Please replace the G and H sound for an F, please. Let's replace this one for an F. Reemplacémoslo por el sonido de la F. Laugh. 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 So it's laughed. Laughed. Left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Left. Left. Excellent. Left. Left. Yes. Right. Sonia, are you ready to practice, Sonia? The Sonia. same. T sound. T. T? Yes. D. T. 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 Help. Look. Look. Uh, no. Look. Great. Wash. Wash. No. What? Okay. Left. Brit. Kissed. Dance. Fixed. Great. Excellent, okay. Sonia. Great pronunciation. Okay, okay. okay, Nelson. I need you to help me with this one. D I'm sound. Ready. Of ready. course, that's the attitude. I'm ready, teacher. V sound. The last group. V. The lead sound. D. Yes, this one. Okay. Cold. Mm -hmm. Cleaned. Offered. Damaged. Loved. Used. Followed. Enjoyed. Amazed. Great. Amazed. Amazed. Mm -hmm. So. Great pronunciation. It is like if we have the verb cold and then we pronounce letter D at the end. Cold. D. Cold. D. Cold. Mm -hmm. D. Cold. Clean. Cleaned. Clean. Clean. Great. Clean. Mm -hmm. Clean. Mm -hmm. no, no pronunciamos ED, no, solo la D. Damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. So it's time to practice. What I'm going to use, you're going to get together in groups so you can listen to your classmates. Please correct each other, right? Listen to your classmates. And if you identify, no, no, no. Repeat again, please. Okay, try it again. Tell your classmate about your feedback, right? We are going to practice right now. So I'm going to send this picture to WhatsApp so you can practice. Here we go. Let me see. These are regular verbs in English. Regular, right? Regular verbs. Irregular, wow, that is a whole new world, a whole different world. Totalmente opuesto, believe me. I prefer regular words instead of irregular. So here we go. Okay, did you get the picture? Go check what's up and tell me if you got the picture. Yes. Yes, yes, I I yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. Great. So, how yes, much time are you going to have? Five minutes. Have fun with your classmates, right? Repeat once, once another time. 
three times, four times, the same exercise, okay? I'm just gonna be there checking your pronunciation, okay? Here we go. Okay, go. Remember, you can share your screen. Pueden compartir pantalla. Share screen. Okay, here we go. Walter, eh, solo me indica en qué sala quedó su otro dispositivo, Walter, okay? Okay, yes I will. Please. There we go. Okay, I'm ready now. Okay, 10, that's okay. Thank you, Walter. I'm just missing Karina, there you go, oh, great. Herson and Jessica. Okay, let's wait for Jessica. Jessica is supposed to be here, but she's not coming. So let's practice. Marina, go ahead and pronounce all the examples, please. I'm ready to listen. Hello. Um, voy a entrar en WhatsApp porque estoy en el teléfono. No, don't worry. I'm going to share my screen. Veamos. Ah, okay. No, don't worry. Vamos. Okay. Here we go. Go. Go, please. Okay. Wanted. Needed, help, look, wash it, um, wash, watch it, love, wash, 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 love, uh, laugh, laugh, love, laugh, 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 con F, laugh. Read. Mm -hmm. Lab. Kiss. Danced. Flick. Call. Clean. Offer. Damage. Love. Use. Follow. In. Um, el siguiente. ¿Cómo enjoy. se puede? Uh -huh. Enjoy. Enjoy. Um, amazing. Okay, you know, all of this one, todos los escuché en presente. Esa D no sonó al final. Practiquemos. D. 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 Escucha T. No, no, it's not T. D. 
Sí. sí. Ajá. Your tongue. La lengua queda en medio. Between your teeth. En medio de los dientes. Thick. Cold. Cleaned. Cold. Cleaned. 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 Right, okay. Let's do it ten times. Let's Cleaned. repeat ten times. D, D, D. Let's do the sound. D. D. There you go. There you go once again. D. D. There you D. go. Great. Now pronounce D. the verbs with the D sound at the end. Cold. Cold. <laughs> Cold. Okay. Clean. Offer. Damage. Love. Use. Use. Follow. Enjoy. Y el siguiente olvidé la pronunciación. Amazed. Amazed. Okay. Amazed. Do you hear the difference? Listen to me. Cold. Cold. ¿Cuál es en presente y cuál en pasado? Cold. Cold. Ah. The second. <laughs> the second is in past. Ah. Pero qué volví a escuchar mm -hmm. yo? Cold. Clean. Offer. Damage. Oh, I heard the pronunciation with a simple present, right? So, what is your challenge? Your challenge for today is this, this sound in specific. Okay, Marina, ese es el reto para ahora, the. So, keep on pronouncing. Practiquemos. Y al final de la clase vuelvo a preguntar los di, di, di. Ese es el reto ahorita. Practice and practice. But let me send you to a different group. Vamos a enviarle a otro grupo para que pueda escuchar your class. We still have like one mm -hmm. minute. Still more. Let me send you to room number one. Go and listen to your classmates. Please. Como que fuera D. Entonces. Yes, este... creo que los dos. Lo... Uh -huh. Entonces. Eh, pero las letras que aparecen a la par. ¿Qué sería ahí la función de ellos? La P, la Q, en el, en el caso del de en medio. La P, la Q, SH, SH, GH. Hi, class. ¿Cómo la? Questions? Yes, teacher. El compañero Fernando mm -hmm. pregunta yes, Fernando. que si por qué el grupo, yes, el, el, el grupo de, de en medio de las palabras yes. eh, eh, tienen a un lado, en el lado izquierdo, la P, Q, C, H, okay. If you know it, great, excellent question. I really like that question. If you notice, all of the three groups, they have uh, mm -hmm. the vowels next to the word, right? Or at the beginning of the word. It means that these verbs in present, they have this final sound, right? Let me repeat again. Mm. This is the final sound mm -hmm. in the um, infinitive way. En la forma infinitiva o forma presente, como queramos llamarle, terminan con ese sonido. Want, termina con T. Need, termina con ese sonido, uh -huh. con T. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Por eso todos los verbos, mm -hmm. all the verbs that have this ending, T and D, in the base form, they are going to sound as I did in the simple past. Mm -hmm. Son como reglas de yes. pronunciación. Second group. Todos los verbos que terminen en sonido yes. de P, bueno, no sonido, con consonante P, P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, and X. They are going to sound as T in the past okay. so that is cool so did mm -hmm. you finish practicing yes you finished yes yes, <laughs> yes. So let's go Fernando, ejemplo, let me see eh, second group uh -huh. just tell me i'm sorry jessica ah no, no. Okay. solo estábamos viendo la forma en la que terminaba la t y la d en ambos ah, grupos porque ajá. por ejemplo en el, en el segundo 
Yes. Solo sería helped. Ajá, help. Y en el otro, cult. Lo cult. mismo, casi, ¿verdad? Casi. Y yes, es similar, but T. T. T tiene como una terminación. Help. Y V. Help. Se fijan, no es lo mismo. Es lo mismo, pero. Sí. Es más claro el sonido de la D. Sí, es más como sonante, un golpe. Sí. Help. Exacto. Help. Helped. <risa> Cold. Ok. D -d -d Cold. 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 Yes. Cold. Es como, como, como enredar un poquito más la lengua, teacher. To put your tongue between your teeth. Ponerla en medio de sus dientes. D, D. Y la T es como un golpe. Ajá. Ajá. No sé si se fijan en la lengua no queda en medio. Load. Use. 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 <risa> You're okay. going to learn, ¿ok? Don't worry. Pero esos son los bases. Que entiendan cuál es el sonido. That's it. Ese es su reto. That is your challenge for today, ¿ok? But you're doing an excellent job. Yes, Let's go back to the main yes, room. Thank okay? you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Here we go. It's time to come back and listen to you again. How did you feel this practice? Was it easy or difficult to pronounce? Wilson, let me listen to you. How was this practice? Easy or difficult? Normal. <laughs> Normal teacher. No, easy. Difficult. Difficult. Uh, difficult, Karina. Okay. Why? Why is it difficult? Josué, is it difficult eh, or easy? Easy. Mm -hmm. easy, okay. So don't worry. This is just practice. You need to keep on practicing and practicing and practicing. And at the end, you're just, don't going to even remember about the rule. In my case, you know, most of the time, I'm not thinking about oh, what sound am I going to pronounce right now. No, you're just going to get used to it, okay? Se van a acostumbrar a saber cuál es el sonido. ¿Cómo? No sé. Su cerebro se acostumbra a saber cuál es el sonido. Teacher is very confused. Why? Tell me. I, I really need to listen to you, Adeli. Why? The pronouns in, in T and D. But why? <laughs> You know, yes. they are different sounds. They don't even sound alike. T sound is like, um, how can I express this one? Es como un golpe, la T. T. Yeah. T. D. No suena como un golpe. D. D is a stronger. D. Okay. D. Oh, D. Tell me, tell me. With, with Cesar, we were talking about the, the pronunciation. Okay, great. Uh, we uh, sound like a stick. All right, exactly. Helped. Mm -hmm. Helped. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Helped. Okay. Like yeah. it. Exactly. exactly. There you In go. Front. The front is like okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Caesar. In oh. the the case of the T, is is a T a short T. Exactly. Cold. Morally. Exactly. But we were talking about to uh, the verb one. We are listening the pronunciation one is. Wanted. Wanted. Ah, exactly. You can have both pronunciations, you know. Wanted. The most common one is wanted. wanted. I want it. Okay. No, wanted. Wanted, wanted. it's okay, but it's most, mostly uh, yeah, used okay. in British English. But wanted. Mm -hmm. 
want it. That's want, it. Or want it. Want it. Is yes. correct. Want it? Yes. Yeah. Want. It's the most want. common one. Yeah, want two words. You know. Exactly. Correct. In England or British, they can have wanted. And it's okay in American English as well. We can say wanted, but it's like a very formal English, like colloquial English, very formal, you know? And you can also say wanted. I wanted to listen to this song today. So I played this song, right? Wanted. So yes, that's okay. So listen. If you check the platform, there we have a task. Take a look at this place or this site, website, bocaroo.com, bocaroo.com. Let me take you to the platform and you can take a look at this exercise. We still have like five minutes, just five minutes. We are going to work in this exercise tomorrow. I need you to practice today the correct pronunciation. Aquí está, miren. At the end of this video, they are asking you to record yourself. Look, vamos a ver. <clears throat> Sound natural, I like that one. Sound natural. Teacher, a video, oh, right, no, yes. some. Yes. Okay. Let's listen and okay. practice. These Please. verbs end in t. How about now? Worked. Yes. Watched. Yes, I can. These yeah. verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Id. Invited. Visited. In order to understand when we'll have a T, D, or id sound, id. we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. Mm -hmm. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. Adam's I would apple. like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn. Watch, Watch. turn. Watch, Watch. Turn. turn. Watch, Watch. Turn. turn. Watch, turn. Okay, if you see, Watch. These verbs turn. are in Whenever present. we pronounce watch the verb turn. watch, what? there is no vibration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No vibration. No vibration. This is called a voiceless what? sound. Yeah. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration <laughs> mm -hmm. on my Adam's okay, wait, apple. Wait, wait. Okay, so. This is called a voice sound. Voiced. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. Mm -hmm. For example, visit has a T sound. T sound. So we visit. pronounce the past as visited. visited. Len has D sound. So we pronounce the past Landed. as landed let me show you more examples mm -hmm. of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better another method to use is following this particular sounds these sounds are voiceless p k s h c h G H T H S S C X. Okay, what is he mentioning? These sounds are voiceless. If you notice, 
all these verbs in the present or in the original form. Miren, presente, help, termina con P. It's ending with a voiceless consonant or voiceless sound. Yes, Josué, tell me. Eh, las consonantes están a un lado, digamos, a nuestra izquierda, digamos. Uh -huh, exactly. Eh, Estas consonantes están al otro lado. Yo lo veo a mi izquierda, digamos. Este, las consonantes que están, la P, la K, la S, la... Ahora sí, sí, todas yes. esas así, se eliminan. O sea, no se eliminan, ¿no? Que solamente no se pronuncian. No, 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 no. no. Después, okay. Don't get confused. It okay. means, it means that the verb in the present form, in the original form or base form, en su forma base, no en pasado, forma base termina con un sonido o un voiceless sound. Miren, look, eso está en presente look. o en su forma base. Look, look. Ajá, entonces, ¿qué nos está diciendo? Que todos los verbos en su forma base que terminen con estos voiceless sounds o voiceless es, consonants, es. They are going to sound as C. Sí. Pero es bien difícil acordarnos de todas estas reglas. ¿Cuáles son los voiceless consonants in English? I don't even know. No recuerdo. I don't remember, teacher. Ah, okay. But it's really necessary to follow the rules and to know why these verbs in past are pronounced in this way. Right? Eso es lo que significa estas consonantes. This is the meaning. Que todos los verbos en su forma base con estos sonidos van a sonar como D. And all of these consonants, these voices, consonants, they are going to sound as T. When we pass the sí. verb from the present to the past. So that's it. But don't worry, we're going to continue with this exercise Tomorrow, let's just finish with this uh, instruction, right? Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat yes, them okay. after me. Helped. Uh, looked. Washed. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, don't worry. Yeah. So, listen, aquí, aquí vamos a terminar. We're let's pronounce to... these words now. Okay. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped. Helped. Looked. Looked. Watched. Mm -hmm. Watched. Watched. A little bit faster, Watched. right? Watched. 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 Laughed. Watched. Laughed. Laughed. Breathed. Breathed. Kissed. Breathed. Danced. Breathed. Fixed. Uh -huh. Which fixed. fixed sound at the end. Great. Helped. The following consonants Looked. have Watched. voice sound. Uh -huh. Let's go to the pronunciation. Hold. Let me go. Hold. Vamos a esta. This sound. Just. Here we go. Cold. 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 Clean. Cold. Clean. Cold. Offer. Clean. Offer. Damage. 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 Love. Damage. Damage. Love. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, uh, load. Loved. Loved. Used. Love. Just used. Used. Followed. 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 Enjoyed. 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 Amazed. 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 Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce Amazed. all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. So this is the first activity for tomorrow. We are going to record ourselves saying the verbs in past. Let me share uh, the Good document. Day. Okay, wait, before you go. Okay, mm -hmm. regular and irregular verbs. Quiero que solo se basen en los verbos regulares, regular verbs de la lista que les voy a enviar just regular verbs para right. que no nos confundamos, please 
forget about irregular. Regular and the pronunciation only. That's it. Questions about this class? Questions about pronunciation? Yes, no? No. No. No? So just practice. Practice. You can look, you can have fun practicing. We have a lot of examples right here. A lot of examples. Look. Lots. So? Yes. Keep on practicing. You see? We're going to continue with these exercises tomorrow. Thank you so much sure. for joining. I hope you have a great night. Go. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye bye, class. Good, good, night, night, good, good, night. Night. good night, good night, good night, everyone. 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 Recording stuff.